Hi students, let's see the multiplication of 11 with any number. Very simple method, just see that. 11 into 34. If I want to multiply 11 into 34, what will do mean? First we'll write 3, 4. After that, the, these two will add it. See, 3 plus 4, this will write in the middle. Then 3 plus 4, that is 7. Ready? After that, this 4 will write and this 3 will write here. That means you will get this equals 3, 7, 4. See, if you want to multiply any number into 11, these numbers will write first and last. After that, the middle we will add this. Ready? Let's see the next number. Now, if I multiply 25 into 11, what will do first? 2, 5 will write. Ready? 25. 2, 5 will write. After that, in the middle, 2 plus 5. 2 plus 5. 2 plus 5 means 7. Ready? And this 2 will write and this 5 will write. That means we will get 2, 7, 5. Ready? Let's see the next number. Let's see now 48 into 11. Ready? That means first what do you write? 4 and 8. See, 48. 4, 8 will write. After that in the middle, 4 plus 8. Ready? 4 plus 8 means what you'll get? 12. So 12 will be here and 8 and this 4. Next step, you'll write 8. After that this 2 will write. Not 12. 2 will write. After that this 1 will add to 4. That means 1 plus 4, 5. So we'll get 5, 2, 8. Ready? Let's see the next number. Now, we'll try 97 into 11. Ready? That means we'll write 9, 7. After that, middle what you'll do? 9 plus 7. Ready? Then first we'll write this one, 7. After that, see, these two adding. What you'll get? 9 plus 7, 16. That means 6 will write here. Then this 1 will add to 9. That means 10. So we'll get 1, 0, 6, 7. Ready? Let's see one another number. 143 into 11 equals. First will write 1. Last will write 3. Ready? 143 means 1 and 3 will write first. After that, see, 4 plus 3. That will write here. 4 plus 3. After that, 1 plus 4. See, 1 plus 4. Ready? Next step, same one will write and these two will add it. That means what I will get? 1 plus 4, that is 5. And 4 plus 3, that is 7. And this 3 will bring down. So, we will write the final answer. 3, 7, 5, 1. So, our answer is 1, 5, 7, 3. Let us see one more number. Ready? Let us see the next number. 283 into 11. Ready? That means 283 into 11 equals. First we will write 2 and 3. See? 2 and 3. After that we will write 8 plus 3. 8 plus 3. You can write direct. After that next step. What will do? 2 plus 8. 2 plus 8. Next step. 3 will write. After that 8 plus 3. That is 11. Ready? After that, 2 plus 8, that is 10. After that, 2. Next step, 3 will write, then 1 will write. See, from 11, 1 will write. And the remainder 1, balance 1, 1 will add to here. That means 10 plus 1, what will get? 11. So, we will take only 1 here. After that, this 11, 11 means 1 will go to here. That is 2 plus 1. 3. So the answer is 3, 1, 1, 3. Let us see one another method to find out the multiplication of two numbers. Ready? Cut. Now we are going to multiply two numbers. Very simple. What it will do means if you get two numbers to multiply, one of the number will double and the other will take half. And it will continue till which number you feel easy to get the answer. We will follow that. Ready? I will show you now. 26 into 32. See, I know. 
See, I want to multiply 26 into 32. I am going to multiply this 26 into 2. That means double. That means 26 into 2, 52. Ready? After that, this one, this 32, I will take divided by 2. That means half. That means we will get 32 half is into 16. So what I am doing? First number will multiply with 2. That means into 2. That means 26 into 2 will get 52. And the second number I am taking half. That means we will get 16. While looking 52 into 16, it is not very easy. So we will continue again. What will do? Again we will take double of this. 52 into 2. So what you will get? 104 into and half of 16 divided by 2. That means what will happen? Half of 16 that is 8. Now I feel it will be easy for you to multiply. Ready? Now what you will do? 8 into 4 32. So we can write direct 32 because 0 is here. After that 8 ones are 8. So this is your step. Got it? Ready? Let us see one another number. Let us see now the multiplication of two numbers. I am taking 38 into 16. That means one of the number I will double it and the next number I will take half divided by 2. So 38 into 2 will get 76 and 16 if I take half you will get 8. Ready? I feel it's not easy to do now. So, we will take again this one double into 2. That means 76 into 2. What you will get? 152. Ready? And now this one what you will do? Half of 8. Half of 8 means yes, 4. Now what you will do? We can go for one more time. Otherwise, you can direct multiply here. Otherwise, what you will do? Again, we will double it here. 152 into 2. That means what you will get? That will be 304, see, into 2. And half of 4, that means 2. That means into 2. Now, it will be easy for us to multiply. See now, 4 twos are 8. 0 into 2, 0. 2 into 3, that is 6. So, the answer is 608. Ready? Let's go to the next number. Let us see now. I am taking now other numbers. 328 into 16. First number I am doubling. That means into 2. See, that means 328 into 2 means what you will get? Yes, 656 into. Now, 16, I will take half. 16 half means 8. Ready? It may not be easy for us. So, again, what you will do? 656 into 2. That means 1312 ready into 2 this one and here we are going to take half of this that means half of 8 that will be 4 ready this one we will multiply now this equals now see 4 2's are 8 4 1's are 4 4 3's are 12 1 in hand 4 1's are 4 plus 1 5 so this is our answer ready let us see one another mother to find out any number with 5. Here, we are going to multiply any number with 5. Any number with 5, very simple. See, I am taking here 236. 236 into 5. If you want to multiply any number with 5, very simple way, you take half of this. See, half of 236. That means 1, 1, 8. I hope you can understand. See, half of 236, you will get 118 into double of this. 5. 5 double means 10. That means the answer is, what you will get? 1180. Ready? So, if you want to multiply any number into 5, you take that number half and multiply with the 10. Ready? Let us see now. 173 into 5. What you will do? Half of this. Half of this means what you will get? 86.5. Half of 173, that is 86.5 into this half. Here will be double. That means 5 double is 10. So, any number multiplying with 10, 1, 0 will put. That means 8, 6, 5. After that, 10 means 0. 
And we know that here one decimal, so counting from right to left one. That means this equals 865. Ready? Let us see now any number if you multiply with the 25. Let us see now if you multiply any number with the 25, what will happen? See, 36 into 25. What you will do means half of 36, that is 18. And double of 25, that is 50. And it will be easy one more time. Half of 18, that is 9. Double of 50, that is 100. That means the answer is 900. Simple way, what you will do means any number, if you want to multiply with 25, you take the number that is 36. What you will do? 2 times you will take half. That means 36 become 18. After that, it will become 9. After that, that number, you just multiply with 100. You will get the answer. Ready? See, I am taking now 236 into 25. If I want to multiply, what you will do? Half of this, what you will get? 118. One more time, half will take. That means 5, 9. Ready? Then what you will do? Into 100. That means your answer is 5, 9, 0, 0. So this way, we can multiply any number into 25. Let us see now, any numbers which is near to 10, multiplying with any big number. Say, I am taking 5, 7, 6, 3 into 12. If I want to multiply this one, what I will do means 5, 7, 6, 3 into 12, I can write 10 plus 2. Ready? That means what you will do means 5, 7, 6, 3 into 10 first will multiply. Because any number, if you multiply with 10, 1, 0 will put. That means 5, 7, 6, 3 after that right side 1, 0. Ready? Then what you will do? Plus 2 means what you will do? 5, 7, 6, 3 into 2. What you will do? We will multiply this 2. See, 2, 3 is 6. Now, 6, 2 is 12, 1 in hand. After that, 2, 7 is 14 plus 1, 15, 1 in hand. Again, 2, 5 is 10 plus 1, 11. Ready? Now, what you will do means we have to add it plus. That means 0 plus 6, 6, 3 plus 2, 5, 6 plus 5, 11, 1 in hand. Now, 7 plus 1, 8, 8 plus 1, 9. And this one, 6. So, your answer is 6, 9, 1, 5, 6. Ready? So, any number near to 10, you can correct it in this way. Let us see one another number. I am just writing 7, 9, 1, 3, 2, 5 into 9. What you will do? First you will write 7, 9, 1, 3, 2, 5. 9 you can write 10 minus 1. Okay. That means what you will do? 7, 9, 1, 3, 2, 5 into 10 first you will take. That means 7, 9, 1, 3, 2, 5. Multiply with the 10 means 1, 0. Ready? After that, minus 1 means 7, 9, 1, 3, 2, 5 into 1. That means we'll write 7, 9, 1, 3, 2, 5. This will minus because here is minus. Ready? So, 10 minus 5. The 5 here we can understand because 1 will carry to here. This become 10 and here will be 4. That means 10 minus 5, 5. 4 minus 2, that is 2. Now here will be 2 minus 3. Cannot carry from here. Then it will be 12. And that means 12 minus 3, that is 9. And here will be 2. 2 minus 1, 1. And here will be 1. That means we will carry from here. It will be 11. 11 minus 9, it will be 2. And this will be 8. 8 minus 7, that is 1. And this 7. So the answer is 7, 1, 2, 1, 9, 2, 5. So actually this is just I am giving you some simple methods only. So it doesn't mean that some of the steps may not be very easy for you. So it's up to you. You can use such methods because when you go for any competitive exams, time management is very important. So should not spoil the time. So we have to multiply very fast. Ready? So to get such videos, don't forget to subscribe this channel and wait for the next video.